The universe is a boundless, infinite space subjected to time. It contains billions of galaxies, stars, planets and dwarf planets, and moons, and all matter and energy. The size of the entire universe is still unknown. This is a galaxy, one among billions of galaxies in the universe. A galaxy is a massive group of stars, star clusters, planets, gas, and dust. Everything inside the galaxy is bound together by a force called gravity. The larger the object is, the more gravity it has. The whole universe is in constant motion. All matter is relative and bound together by the gravitational force. To understand how everything in this universe is connected and related and to know about gravity, the unseen force that acts in the universe, we will now study our galaxy and our solar system and how Earth is a very tiny but very important part of the whole universe. One among billions of galaxies in the universe is our galaxy called the Milky Way. It contains our solar system. Milky Way is classified under the group of galaxies called the local group. The local group contains around 54 galaxies. The Milky Way contains between 200 and 400 billion stars and at least 100 billion planets. Dust, gas and other matter are also part of the Milky Way. The whole galaxy is held together by gravity. The Milky Way is at least 100,000 light years. One light year is the distance traveled by light in one year, and that's around 6 trillion miles. Then a distance of 100,000 light year is way above our imagination. Everything in the universe is beyond our imagination and seems like magic. Galaxies are either spiral, elliptical, or irregular in shape. This is an example of an elliptical galaxy. This is an irregular galaxy. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is an example of a spiral galaxy. There are four main parts in the Milky Way. The center is the bulge or the galactic center. It is the brightest part of the galaxy and is tightly packed with stars. The second part of the Milky Way is its round disk. This disk is a hundred thousand light years across and is filled with young stars, gas and dust. The third part of the Milky Way is the spiral arms. The young stars are concentrated in the spiral arms which are part of the disk. Our solar system is also present in one of the spiral arms. The fourth and the outermost part is the halo. The word halo means circle of light. This halo contains old stars and star clusters. It is very empty compared to the other parts of the galaxy. Everything in it is very far apart. The nearest galaxy to the Milky Way is the Andromeda Galaxy. Like Milky Way, 
It is also a spiral galaxy. Andromeda galaxy is the largest galaxy in the local group. Did you know that our galaxy is called the Milky Way because Milky Way can be seen from the Earth on a clear moonless night like a milky patch stretched across the sky. It looks like a band of stars in a bed of milk. This is our solar system located at the Orion's arm which is a spiral arm of our Milky Way galaxy. Now let us explore our solar system a little bit more in detail which is the main purpose of this video.